First bug test is a quick and simple way to check ocular alignment. This assessment is particularly useful for testing for strabismus in newborn, young children, patients with poor vision, patients that are not able to fixate or track well or in any situation where a full mobility evaluation is not feasible. Assessment Use a light source such as a pen light or Finhoff trans illuminator. Instruct the patient to focus their gaze on your light source. From a distance of 2 feet, shine your light source equally into the patient's eye at midline. Observe the reflection of light of the cornea which should appear as a pinpoint white light near the center of the pupil in each eye. Interpretation Normal if there is a normal alignment, the reflection will appear in the same position in each pupil. If there is a misalignment of eyes, the location of the corneal reflex will appear asymmetric and off-center of the pupil in the deviating eye. Exotropia Eye turned outward When there is auto division of the eye, the light reflex will appear inwardly displaced from the center of the pupil. Esotropia Eye turn inward When there is inward division of the eye, the light reflex will appear outwardly displaced from the center of the pupil. Hypertropia Eye turn upward. When there is an upward division of the eye, the light reflex will appear inferiorly displaced from the center of the pupil. Hypotropia. Eye turn downward. When there is an downward division of the eye, the light reflex will appear superiorly displaced from the center of the pupil. 1 mm deviation equal to approx 15 prism diopters. For every 1 mm of deviation from the center of the pupil, it will take approximately 15 diopters of prism to correct the misalignment. Approximate estimation of prism diopter. On pupillary margin, approx 15 prism diopters. Between pupillary margin and limbus, approx 30 prism diopters. On limbus, approx 45 prism diopters. On sclera, more than 45 prism diopters, approx. Now, question for the viewers. When light reflects present on the pupillary margin, then what will be the approximate deviation in prism diopters? Kindly write your answer in the comment box. Thank you for watching. <music>